so much for spending a little bit of time out of your busy day to uh, talk to us about your teaching career here at the UB Union High School District. Thank you, thank you. So I guess the first one is kind of an easy question. Um, what do you like about teaching at UB Union High School District? I, I love it here. I love it at Cibola. So I teach English and AVID. Um, I teach 12th grade this year for both of those classes. So one of the things I really love right now is watching the students as kind of their future plans start rolling in. So students are getting their college acceptance letters. They're getting scholarship offers. They're getting military appointments. Um, some of them are getting their first job or starting to move up in their from their first job into a more of a career path. So I love you know watching the seniors start their life. Um, I'm just really proud to be a Cibola Raider. I think our students have a ton of pride. I mean, you walk down the halls during passing time and you see, you know, Cibola band on their sweatshirts or Cibola soccer, Cibola basketball, you know, all the different things they're interested in. You come here before school, they're out front. Um, this week we're selling candy grams, but they sell different things. They're planning their homecoming, planning their proms. So it's just an exciting campus to be on. And it's fun to be around the kids every day. So I know that there is, um, more to the day-to-day -day than just um, some of the fun things, but when it comes to you know, what's, what you're doing in the classroom, um, lesson planning, things like that, is there a certain lesson this year that you really loved or it stood out um, as the year's gone? Yeah, this year we teach writing first, so the entire first semester was for different writing units, and my favorite one is called This I Believe. So the students pick a belief, like a core belief to themselves or to their family. Maybe it's something that their parents or their grandparents taught them or something that they've just come to learn on their own. And they write a one to two page essay, a nice succinct essay outlining this core belief. So one of my favorite ones was a student that wrote, I believe in pinky promises. And she talked about how her mom taught her to always keep her word and that a pinky promise is binding. And then they put them into presentations so that they were able to show the class what their belief was and her presentation was so great. Um, she talked about pinky promises around the world and in different cultures. And then she had the students make a promise to themselves that they would keep. So I just, I love that project because every essay is original and different and you get to see you know, what, what is a tradition, what is a belief in their family. What are some other things that you think would entice someone maybe start their career in teaching with our district or at Cibola specifically? Yeah, one thing I love about working at Cibola and at Yuma Union High School District is the culture that the administration and the district leaders have created. So first, I am respected as a teacher. They respect our, like, our opinions, they honor our time, they treat us like professionals, and they try to include us in important decisions that are made on our campuses. We also have an outstanding community here in Yuma. We have really strong community partnerships with local businesses, with our families, and those partnerships open doors for our students. So I love being part of our community and I love being treated like a professional here at Cibola. So as far as wages and benefits go, I'm sure that's another thing that is important um, to the whole picture of being an educator. Uh, how do they, do they think they compare to like say when you first started or to your experiences elsewhere? Yeah, so um, when, when you apply here, when you get the job, obviously you're given your base salary and our base salaries are really competitive to other districts that I've worked for, other districts around the state that I've looked into. But in addition to the base salary, I think what sets Yuma Union District apart is we have incredible opportunities to build on that. So one opportunity, of course, is Proposition 301, which is an opportunity for you to do professional development, to better yourself as an educator and get paid for it. So the Proposition 301 is a very nice you know, chunk of money that we do get two or three times a year. And then in addition to that, at the high schools, we have lots of opportunities to do additional stipends. So some things I've been involved in that I did get extra pay for would be working with AVID, working as a coach, a club sponsor, certain committees will have extra pay. And then I did a role as an assistant athletic director, which was also additional pay. So in addition to a competitive base salary, there's lots of opportunities to even get that higher. When you're getting involved in those opportunities, um, do you feel like there's support from, from your administrators or from your colleagues to or, or support or encouragement, you know, to do those things and to, to kind of yeah, I think there's so many opportunities and it's so easy to get involved outside of the classroom. So we're always looking for people to coach. Um, maybe at first that would be on a volunteer basis or if you're not you know, able to commit to the full season, 
There's people that are able to volunteer as assistant coaches or even become a head coach. And I think the cool thing about being a coach is it really does translate back into the classroom. So a lot of the same principles that we use to coach our athletes, we can use in the classroom. So when you're becoming a coach or an advisor to a club, you're becoming better at teaching as well. What kind of supports are in place from a campus level and a district level also, but what kind of supports are in place to be there for you as an educator? I think that in my three and a half years in, in this district, I've grown more professionally than at any other time in my career because we have so many opportunities for professional learning. So it really does start at the site level, at your school. We have a lot of professional development workshops at our schools. And the cool thing about those is that they're led by teachers. So we have this philosophy here at Cibola that the best PD is next door. So when we're having professional development, for example, on Mondays, we have that led by teachers. So it's a great opportunity for new or veteran teachers to get that leadership experience. Um, after the school level, at the district level, we have uh, professional development days where we have no students, but we're doing workshops uh, as a district. And again, a lot of those are led by teachers. So when you come to this district, they really have this philosophy of building leaders from in our district, within our staff. So we have the district level professional development, and then we also have a lot of out of district development. We have collaborations with other school districts within Yuma. We have another partnership with uh, KnowledgeWorks, which is able to help us implement personalized learning in our classrooms. And all of those opportunities where we get out of our district and we meet teachers from other schools, they just give us new perspectives and help us become better here. It kind of matches one of the missions or the goals that we have for our students in terms of them personalizing their learning experience in the classroom. Um, it seems like the district does that for its employees or its teachers as well. Yeah, when we have the all district PD days, we get um, kind of like a workbook, like a, a course catalog, if you will, and we get to go through it and pick out the sessions that we want to attend. So that's a really nice opportunity for you to like pick a goal for that day and then find sessions that match what you're trying to do in your own classroom. So another great support that we have in place and on all of our campuses are instructional coaches. So these are people that are, um, they're former teachers and they're on, they're on a teacher pay scale and they're, they're our peers. So when they come into our classrooms to help us, they're not here to evaluate or judge what we're doing. They're here to coach us and they're people that we trust, they're our friends. And so we have these coaches that are always available. We can send an email and say that we're doing a, a new activity in our class and we'd like to get some new eyes on it. And they will come in and they'll watch and they'll meet with you and give you feedback. So having a peer that can come in and help you and not feel that you're being evaluated is a really great support that we have. So the last thing that I wanted to ask you is let's say a person was interested in teaching or they're just about to graduate from a teacher college and they came up to you and they saw you at the store and they taught at school and they, they said, why should I teach? Why should I teach you? What would you tell so I would tell them um, sort of the three things that we've kind of talked about here. The, the first is the professional learning, the professional development, the way that they want to build us from within their schools. They want us to get better. They want us to chase our dreams, chase our goals. So I would say that not every district um, commits to that the way that Yuma Union does. So first is professional development. Second is the compensation that we already talked about. It's extremely competitive with districts around Arizona. And the third thing, the third reason I would have someone work here is the culture that we have on our campuses. So I'm proud to be a Cibola Raider and when you walk through our halls you can feel that the kids are proud to be Cibola Raiders too.